So what is the pinnacle of the problem with the whole of humanity? <laughs> the whole of humanity, which is planet Earth. The inner child wound of abandonment and the inner child wound of rejection. So the reason the unbalanced masculine may be leading into more dominance instead of surrender, like the ideal perfect union, it's when you have achieved or allowed divine alchemy within yourself. When your DNA strand, it's completely mastered and then you feel whole and complete and you can project because it's a mirror an equal counterpart that will reflect that inner completion to get there though, baby steps. The masculine needs to heal its rejection wound because the reason it wants to control through dominance or it wants to be promiscuous and have infinite partners or never commit or run away, that's the immature masculine, or um, shut down or not being able to feel their emotions and feelings is because deep down, they feel like if they open up fully and surrender and, gi and give themselves to a divine counterpart as a feminine, they're scared to be rejected. They wonder, if I really open up, if I really let her see who I am. Oh my God, that song came up. I just want you to know who I am. Oh, so cute. So they fear that if they truly open up to the feminine, they're going to be rejected in their most soft, vulnerable self because we all have the divine feminine and the divine masculine within and for women the wound is abandonment the woman feels that if she really opens up and let the masculine sees her vulnerability her softness her innocence then she's gonna he not she <laughs> he's gonna well whatever if you like women you can be with a female body that's more masculine and you can be in a female body too and be more feminine so doesn't matter it's just take it as it resonates it depends in which essence you resonate way more in your body so there's no judgment in uh, yeah whatever sexuality you want to claim for yourself so if you feel feel Let's just use the example of men and women in regular configurations to make it easy. It's open to you, however you want to <laughs> interpret it. So the female feels that if she really opens up in this innocence and this softness, she's going to be abandoned. So she puts on a wall to be in protection. And then the masculine getting the transmission real time. I don't even know what I'm supposed to say. Godhead, what does the masculine does? There's 20 people here waiting for the answer. <laughs> the masculine. Okay, yeah. The journey back to union is the masculine finding itself fearless enough, courageous enough to explore its feminine side. Because only when the masculine has truly explored his femininity and feel okay with surrender, without the fear of being rejected for its deepest softness. Okay? If the masculine doesn't fear rejection for its deepest, most authentic softness, that, and it explores itself as the feminine, then when it communicates with a female, <laughs> oh my God. It would understand how to stay in his masculine firmness and centeredness and also know how to hold space for her feminine softness. And when he has balanced both polarities, then the woman will feel comfortable and safe enough to surrender in her feminine. And then the whole world would be at peace. Truly, because we do need each other. The masculine and the feminine need each other. We work better in partnership because then the one that has a set of assets can complement the other. And then the woman doesn't have to split itself and become its own man, which is part of the journey. I did it. It's a suggestion to understand your masculine 
self, your masculine polarity, to then come back to wholeness and embody the queen. So the one that comes on the front is the feminine, yet you also have a backbone that sustains the stability and groundness of your feminine. Because if not, it's going to be feminine and balanced. So yeah, it's part of the process. Yet the complete mastery is when you have allowed both of them so you can choose which one comes to the front and then stop saying that there's no need for divine union because it is. If everybody found inner centeredness and peace within themselves and they magnetize their ideal counterpart, then whatever both of those beings are doing individually would be enhanced together in union. Because then the masculine can be whatever the body in this incarnation shows to be, can be truly masculine, and the feminine can truly be in her feminine. Whatever, if you show the body of the feminine, then embody your incarnation. <laughs> so, back to the wound. We have to heal the rejection, and I'm speaking for myself too, the rejection and abandonment wound, truly, from the core and the debris that fear of truly opening up the heart to the deepest softness because it feels that it will be you tell me what it's just deepest i mean there's many layers of rejection shame guilt yeah it's all shame and guilt why would you be scared to be rejected as the masculine then something deeper there to look at in relation to shame and guilt unworthiness is what it is the masculine feels unworthy of the feminine unconditional love why and this even happens in couples that are already married because if you're married and you live together with your partner it doesn't mean that this ends you shift every moment every moment is an opportunity for a deeper exploration for a deeper understanding of what's the alchemy of that relationship and dynamic. 